I've enjoyed most of you, your diligence, trying to learn the pen tool. And I know it's frustrating, and, and, but practice. Watch the videos. I show you every single step in how to succeed. And I've already told you, you got to do it more than once. And this guy, Tokidoki, a company out of Italy, and I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, whenever, uh, there was a video series on a site about his workflow. And he just, he would draw stuff out, take his phone out, take a snapshot, bring it into Illustrator, you know, as a template, like I showed you guys in the pen tool tutorials. And then he just whips out the pen tool and goes zip, 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 and, and, and just pen tools all the lines and makes everything perfect, cleans up his sketches. And this is all pen tool, okay? That, that's what's possible. This is a student, Nikki G, and she was awesome. She didn't have any drawings. She just went at this because she could see stuff in her head. And this wasn't, you know, a well thought out piece. I watched her just over the course of a couple of days, just draw thing after thing after thing, fill in on all the gaps. And it was a joy to watch. The point is, when you're working on the pen tool, as you're going through that tutorial, once is not enough. Some of you are doing it once and then moving on to something else. And you're putting anchor points all over the place. You didn't learn the the idea that you only put anchor points at the beginning and end of curves. You're trying to use as few as possible. Practice, practice, practice. And you know, if you haven't mastered that pen tool tutorial, I'm going to call you out on it when you leave that project without having completed it with the necessary skills to move on on your own. No one is getting past this the rest of the year. This is an ironclad gate. You will thank me later on for making you do this because it opens up so many different things you can do. Hang in there. You can do this.